Thank you, everybody, for joining us. And we're going to go right into the uh, the Tanya, and we're going to try to inch towards finishing Perak Vav, Chapter 6 of Shara Yichud Ve'amuna. <clears throat> Bezrat Hashem, at 11 o'clock, we're going to be sending out uh, by the WhatsApp a short video, an important announcement. So please stay tuned to this video, uh, hopefully about 30 seconds. But it's something that's very uh, relevant. If you if you uh, did not receive our messages, just send me a WhatsApp message at nine seven two five two seven three one eight triple seven. Without any further ado, let's go right into the Tanya Shari Chud Ve'Amuna, the gate of oneness of Hashem and faith in Hashem. Yesterday we were sort of in the middle of explaining the subject of the comparison between the way the neshama keeps the body alive, the way the soul gives life to the body, and between the way Hashem, Hashem's spark of godliness, Hashem's existence, keeps every single thing in the world in existence. And the altar ever said that there it's a little bit, you can compare it a little bit, but not really. It's not a real, it's not a real good comparison. And the reason is as follows. Right in the middle of the page, at the dot, we'll start again. Ach, it's right in the middle. We're going to explain that the body and the soul are really two separate entities. But when it comes to Hashem, Hashem and the entire world is all one. There's nothing besides for Hashem. Let's see it inside. Ach be'emet, however, in truth, ein ha-mashal domel nimshal klau. The, the, the metaphor is not similar, is not, is not exact to the analogy at all. Ki ha-neshama v'haguf, for the neshama and the body, the soul and the body, heim be'emet nefradim zemize b'shasham. They're truly separated one from another in their source. Ki ein hitavut shorosh aguf v'atzmuto minishmato for the source of the body and its essence is not from the neshama ela mitipot avivimo only from the drops from the semen of his parents. In other words, the, the, the creation of the body is from the parents. V'gam acharei chen en gidulo minishmato levada even afterwards. After the child was conceived, the growth of the body is not through the neshama alone, rather through the eating and the drinking of his mother, all the nine months, and afterwards, after he's born, through his own eating. So in other words, the body has its own source of life, which is the food and drink, which keeps the body alive. On the other hand, heavens and earth, the entire being has been created from nothingness, totally, only with the word of Hashem, the Ruach Piv, and the spirit of his mouth, Yisbarach, Yisbarach, blessed be he. The Gama Dayin Nitzav Dvar Hashem Le'olam. And also the entire time, forever, the word of Hashem remains in the world. V'shofea Behem Tamid. And pours, gives forth upon them all the time. V'chol Rega at every moment. And it creates them always from nothing to something. As the, the, the creation of the sunlight within the sun globe itself, as a metaphor. And if so, they are totally nullified in their core, in reference to the word of Hashem 
and the spirituality, the Ruach Pivit Barach, and the spirit of his mouth, blessed be he, Ham Yuchadim Bimehutova Atzmutayit Barach, which are unified with the essence and the, and the core being of Hashem. Kamoshit Bar Lekaman, as it will be explained later, Kibitul Or Hashemesh Beshemesh, as the sunlight is nullified within the sun. Rak, Shehein Hein Gvurotav. It's only that those are Hashem's awesome restraints. The Midat HaGvurav HaTzimtzum. The measure of Gvura and the Tzimtzum. We just turned the page to page 162 in the original text. Lahastir, to cover over. Or Lahalim, and to hide. Hachayot, the life force. Hashofea Bahem, which continues to be within them. Sheyu nirim, that they should seem to be as if Hashamayim ve'aretz v'chol tzva'am, the heaven and earth and all of their army, in other words, all of the creations. Ki'ilu'ehim davar b'fani atzmo, it's as if there's something different. However, it's not really different. Ach e'in ha'tzimtzum la'hester ele le'tachtonim. The, the, the concealment and restraint is only in reference to the lower worlds. In other words, to, to us. Aval Baruch Hu. However, if you look from Hashem's perspective, Kula Kame Kala Mamish Hashivi. The entire world is as if it's nothingness in compared to Hashem. Or Hashemesh Beshemesh, as the sunlight is within the sun globe. The Ain Midat Hagvura Mstaret Chas Vashalom Lafanavid Barach. The Gvura, the restraint that Hashem implanted into the world, does not cover over, obviously, for Hashem. From Hashem's perspective, it's all part of the master plan, but it doesn't really, excuse me, it doesn't really cover over, it doesn't really um, make a real restraint. The Gvura does not really restrain over for Hashem. Because it's not something for itself. Hashem is Elohim. It's, it's one and the same thing. So in summary, what we've learned up until now is that Hashem creating every single object in the world is not like the Neshama creating the body. For the Neshama and the body are two separate entities. The body has its own physical, materialistic source. And the Neshama is all spiritual. So if it's all spiritual, then it's a totally different uh, entity. Now true that the Neshama gives life to the body as well. But that's not the exclusive source. When it comes to every physical, materialistic object, it's only Hashem which gives everything, which, which creates everything and keeps it and keeps it alive at every moment. I would like to add an explanation, please, to the fact that we say that the neshama and the body are two separate entities. At first glance, on the surface, it seems to be, as we said earlier, that the neshama is all spiritual. The body seems to be all materialistic. And so therefore, these are, it's clear that these are, that these are two separate entities. I just want to bring out an interesting point which can bring out, in a sense, quite the opposite. But nevertheless, the point, the idea, the concept that they are both two separate subjects, the body and the soul, will hopefully add a lot of light into this subject. Even though we said that the neshama, the soul, is all spiritual and the body is, is all materialistic, even in their source, just one moment, please. Just have to move from where I am. Now you can double guess where I started and where I'm continuing the class. Well, for now, we could stop because there's no one behind us. I think Ryan Mordechai can probably guess easier than anyone else. 
Back to our subject. Even though we say that the neshama is all spiritual and the body is all materialistic, according to the Kabbalah, the body has even a higher source than the neshama. The bottom line is going to be, as we said earlier, that the body has a different source from the neshama. But it's interesting to understand in depth and to appreciate how the, the source of the body could be even higher than the source of the, of the neshama of the soul. Why do we say that? Because the famous example in Hasidus is as follows. When you have a wall, a wall standing tall, and then it falls down, which part of the wall falls furthest from the source of the wall? The top. And sometimes when it falls, the top stones, the top bricks, go flying really, really far. And so this analogy is there for both the kalim, all the vessels that we talked about uh, previously, but also regarding the body, which is also a type of keli, a type of vessel for the neshama. So if you look from an external point of view, then the body is, quote unquote, only a vessel for the neshama. But if we view the body to have a purpose in and of itself, then, then we can hopefully realize that the, this, the body can have even a higher source than the neshama itself. We don't estimate it. We don't judge it based on, based on the, what we see. Because if we do, then what we see is just merely a physical entity. But if we take everything on a deeper level, deeper than what we see, then we can realize that the body has a deeper neshama, a deeper source, a deeper shortage, I meant to say, a deeper source, a root, than the neshama itself. That's why it says that when Hashem gave us the Torah, Hashem chose Am Yisrael to be the chosen nation. So if you ask a regular person, what did he choose? They usually tell you he chose the neshama. He chose our neshamas. And according to what the Alter Rebbe says in the Tanya in chapter 49, that really this refers to the body. When we say in davening, just two or three lines before the Shema every morning, you chose us from every other nation and language, it refers to the body. Hashem chose the body. Choice is enrooted deep down in the, in, this, in the essence. And Hashem, so to speak, in His essence, chose our bodies, even if it seems to be that our bodies seem to be no different than bodies of the nations of the world. Nevertheless, our bodies are, are holy. And that's how we have to treat it with holiness. And we have to remember also that it's not just what it seems to be at face value. Rather, it's that the, the, uh, the, the bodies have, uh, have a very, very deep source. And that's really what counts. That's really the most important thing to realize the, the, the essence. Just one moment, please. Um... The, the essence of, of, of who we are and the essence of Am Yisrael, that it's much deeper than what we may seem at face value. And hopefully this will add also in our Avat Yisrael look at, to look at someone else, not just for what it seems at the surface, but really to look deep down. Thank you so much for joining us. Bezrat Hashem, we're going to send out a, a video, a, a very short video, but really important at 11 o'clock through the WhatsApp. And... Um, all the best. We look forward to seeing you here tomorrow morning. A very important announcement now for tonight. Tonight, I'm not going to be able to give the class, and therefore, Rabbi Diamond will be giving the class in English. Rabbi Diamond is known to be a great orator and a Torah scholar, and I highly encourage that everyone tune in over here at 7.30 Jerusalem local time, right here, um, to hear a special, a special lesson from, from Rabbi Diamond. All the best. Thank you for joining us. Be well.